Life lesson content on YouTube is a booming industry, and love him or hate him, Darman is the pioneer of it. With his enthralling storylines and captivating characters like the rich guy, the poor guy, the nerd, the CEO, and so many others, I don't think I could name them. Probably could in like 30 seconds. But like I said, Darman pioneered this industry, and I'd like to think that he paved the way for other creators to rise up and fill in his shoes, take the format of videos that he has made so popular, and build on it, innovate, make new content. And you know what? Absolutely not. That is not at all what has happened. There are so many Darman copycats out there, and it's not the fact that they're just copying the style of video he's doing. They are doing that, but they're doing so much more. They make almost identical thumbnails with just slightly different colors or fonts, but close enough so that a Darman video that's on the Darman train can easily slip off the tracks, fall into their channel's algorithm, and just boost them into the stratosphere. Which is where Darman's at right now, because holy shit, he is raking in the views. But the channel we're watching today not only does all of that, but also makes just the most outrageous videos I've ever seen. And I know, I, I say that all the time, I really do. But each time, I do mean it, because I am just surprised every time I make a video at what is out there. Now, I actually stumbled across the channel we're gonna be talking about today, like a week ago, when good friend of the channel, Joe, sent me this. He told me this guy's videos are insane, and I should do a video on him, because he thinks you guys would like him, and they're just fun to watch. And I thought to myself, don't tell me what to do. Then I waited 10 minutes and I watched it, and he is right, God damn it. The channel in question is Life Lessons with Luis. Try saying that three times. <laughs> don't, don't, that's, that's a waste of time. And we're actually gonna be watching the exact video he sent because it was perfect on its own. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of other batshit crazy videos on this guy's channel, which I will save for a live stream. If you're watching this Friday, July 2nd, check me out 8 p.m. Central Time, twitch.tv slash Chris the James, where I'll be watching a shit ton of these, so if you enjoy this video, come hang out later tonight. This is wife divorces military husband after losing his legs. Shocking ending. How shocking will it be? Well, stick around to the end and see what happens because it's... It's a shit show. <laughs> now the video starts off nice and slow to kind of ease us into the madness that won't sue. Sort of. Not really. He gets pushed out of a wheelchair. We're gonna need some context. Thanks. Memorial Day. This video is dedicated to our fallen soldiers. As we get through this video, you will realize how big of a slap in the face this statement is to our fallen soldiers. Baby, I can't believe I get to call you all mine in five months. You're so handsome. And here I thought you liked me for my personality. Which, as we get through the video, you will realize is not possible. <laughs> Are you going to be able to manage when I take off tomorrow? Of course. Are you kidding me? You're my whole world. Oh, yeah? Well, what if some rich guy comes around and starts flashing his money in your face when I'm gone? Are you just going to forget about me and run off with him? Oh, boy, there's one of Darman's signature rich guy characters. Oh, well, how rich are we talking? <laughs> Baby, I'm just kidding. I don't need some rich guy. I have you, and you're already rich. Oh, thank God. You had me worried for a... Wait, what? <laughs> well, technically it's my dad who's rich. Yeah, but we know your dad's gonna give the company to you when you get back from the military, and we'll be instant millionaires. Right, but... You like me for me, right? It's not just the money. What do you mean? Pretty straightforward question. No. <laughs> I mean, regardless of the money aspect, you'd still be with me, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course I need some security that you're going to be able to provide the kind of lifestyle I want too, babe. Uh, speaking of money, the wedding planner messaged me. She needs another payment so we can lock in the hall for the wedding. I want everything ready to go for when you get back from your tour. I can't wait to be Mrs. Rodriguez, the millionaire. Couldn't have written that any better myself. Honestly, and I could have. I think everyone watching this video could have too. That, that, that's some shitty ass dialogue. Yes, it's uh, me, Mrs. Rodriguez. The millionaire. I have millions of dollars. I'm serious. I love you regardless of all this material stuff. For better or worse, right? Mm-hmm. Say it. Say what? Say it, say for better or worse, say it. This is like the room acting. This is so fucking bad. <laughs> say it, say it, for better or worse, say it. Come on, don't think, say it, say it now. Tony, why do you have to play these silly games? So far we've got Wish.com Florence Pugh, the gold digger, and then Wish.com John Walker, which is hilarious because 
John Walker is already Wish.com Captain America, but they're gonna get married in five months after his deployment, I guess. I don't really know his military situation. I don't even know this company situation. Apparently they're gonna be getting a company and they'll be millionaires instantly because that's exactly how everything works. And might I just add, she's a shitty gold digger. At least, at least try. At least try to put on a face. The way you're behaving doesn't make me feel comfortable with getting married to you in five months. Okay, the way you just dump that champagne in your mouth before saying something in a really scary voice doesn't make me feel comfortable sitting on the couch with you. You want me to sign over a contract forking over $10 million? I need to know we're getting married for the right reason. For better or worse, okay? There, I said it. Jesus, stop being so controlling. You're making me feel like I'm some kind of gold digger or something. Wouldn't be a good life lesson video without some good old fashioned gaslighting. <laughs> we interrupt your television broadcast to bring you a special report. A military utilities helicopter was shot down over the Gaza Strip as four military officers were picking up a senator of California who was spending time in Israel trying to help resolve the conflict in the Middle East. <laughs> what? All passengers and pilots were pronounced dead on impact, including Casey Taylor, Adam Gardner, Ryan Wolin, and Johnny Rodriguez. Let us please offer a moment of silence for our fallen soldiers. No! No! Look, I get this is a tragic event, and they would definitely be talking about it on the news, there's no doubt about that, but they're not gonna interrupt Big Bang Theory for this shit. Vanessa was devastated. The man she was about to marry was pronounced dead. She never saw this coming. Two weeks later, she received a phone call from the doctors that Johnny Rodriguez had in fact survived the plane crash and had been in a coma for two weeks. Vanessa rushed over to the hospital only to learn more bad news that Johnny had lost both his legs in the crash. Needless to say, Vanessa postponed the wedding and spent the next two months taking care of Johnny from the comfort of their own home. I love how cartoonish they got this guy set up. He's literally in a wheelchair with gauze on his head. <laughs> like she literally just dragged him out of that helicopter and put him in that wheelchair. Until one day. Jesus Christ, turn the goddamn AC on! He looks like the guy in a zombie movie that got bit but isn't telling anyone else. Hey babe, you have fun? Yeah, it was fun. Oh god, it's so fucking hot. Hey babe, you have fun at lunch with your friends? I'm changing. Close the door. Like I've never seen you naked before. Well, guys, I think I think you see where this is going. I mean, you know, now that he doesn't have half of his legs, things are different. Obviously, they're not multimillionaires right now, so something must have happened with the company. I don't know. Johnny, I'm sorry for yelling at you. I'm just not in a good mood. What do you mean? Was it something that happened at lunch with your friends? Yes. No, no, it's not lunch. It's just... It's us. I, I just... I can't do this anymore, Johnny. This is not the life I signed up for. What do you mean? Jesus Christ, calm down, Bruce Banner. This man's about to fucking turn. I mean, I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life with some cripple with nubs for legs. It honestly grosses me out. I know I always say, folks, you can't write this stuff, but goddammit, Luis, <laughs> he wrote that shit. But you said for better or worse, you said that! I know. Well... Luis, I swear to God, if this man does not turn into the Incredible Hulk right away, I will be severely let down. This is the worst part. It's gonna get better. I've been talking to the doctor about what he can do with my Johnny, legs. Johnny, you're never gonna walk again. Who are you kidding? You don't even have any money. Your dad gave the company to your little brother and... That's what happened. Okay, now now we see where the animosity comes from. Now it makes sense why she's being the absolute worst. The military's gonna take care of us. They're gonna pay us out for life. The military. Yeah, joining the military was the worst mistake you ever made. Watch what you're saying. What? It's the truth. If you hadn't joined the stupid military, we wouldn't be in this situation. What the hell's up with that sound effect? I thought he was a fucking shooter. 
I have friends who died for this country. Don't you dare talk to me that way! Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna get a really quick shot of your, uh, your, your nubs. What you get for joining the military? Have fun being a cripple the rest of your life, loser. Look, I know she's a bad person. She's a gold digger. She's not good. But this is such an outrageously evil thing to do and say. It's like in those movies like uh, Amityville Horror when someone gets possessed and they just start acting like a complete fucking monster out of nowhere. That's what she's doing. Boom, right there, trademark, Darman, bad person gets their comeuppance, and they do the walk. Which is where at the end of the video they just walk around now. That's their thing, they, they just, they walk around. Out of focus, might I add. Johnny, is that you? Vanessa? Wow, I didn't recognize you. I didn't recognize you with that big, fat belly. Fatty. How have you been? I'm, I've been better. How are you? You're walking again? Oh yeah, I just got, um, I got titanium legs. Why'd they have to make that sound? <laughs> it's like two swords clinking together. I got titanium legs. The uh, military really does take good care of their vets. That is unintentionally the funniest thing anyone has said in this entire video. I don't put in a couple years ago. Actually, I just finished my first marathon. It's something I never thought I'd do. Is this your new car? Oh, this? Yeah, this is just a little toy car to get away on the weekends. Literally, it, it is a little fucking toy. It, this man just carjacked Rob Deerdick. What's new with you? It looks like you're pregnant. Looks like you're pregnant, I guess, or something. You're just, you're just, yeah, you just, you're pregnant, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. I didn't know you were married. Actually, I'm I'm not married. This is like those old women at church who just assume if you're pregnant, you're married to a man, and that's the way it has to be. Oh, you're pregnant. Who's the husband? I hope there's a husband or else you're going to hell. Oh. Well, I'm sure your boyfriend's really excited. I don't have a boyfriend either. I, I thought I knew who the father was, but it turns out I don't. Just kind of winging life on my own these days. Damn! This man is absolutely eviscerating her. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You take care of yourself, Vanessa. Hey, hey Johnny, I was wondering if we could ever... Hey, sweetie, you ready to go? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Who's your friend, honey? <laughs> it's Vanessa. Oh! You mean... Yep. Oh, you mean the one that pushed you out of your... Fucking wheelchair? Jesus, what the fuck is the matter with you? Well, nice to meet you, Vanessa. I'm Stacy. Nice to meet you too. I, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. Oh, fiance. We're getting married in two weeks. Okay, Vanessa, obviously a piece of shit, all right? We know that. But regardless, I hate the, oh, oh no, 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 no. Fiance. Congratulations, I'm, I'm really happy for you guys. Thank you. Um, congratulations to you and your husband on your baby. Of course. <laughs> of course. Congratulations on you and your husband. I hope. I hope husband. Right? Actually, I'm not married. Well, your boyfriend must be very excited then. Boyfriend? Please tell me it's a, it's, it's a boyfriend and you're not... Boy, boyfriend? No, I, I don't have a boyfriend either. Oh, well, just congratulations then. Oh my god, fucking fine, just congratulations, Jesus Christ. Babe, we're gonna be late for our wedding rehearsal. I'll go wait in the car, okay? Okay. Go wait in the car? You mean the go-kart you guys are all standing next to? Has she been there the whole time? Johnny, I just, I don't understand. How could you be marrying her and not me? Beside the fact that you literally dumped me out of my wheelchair. <laughs> Alright, that's genuinely funny as fuck. And not in an unintentional way. That, like, that literally is just... Fucking hilarious. You mean when you dumped me out of my wheelchair? That really sucked, you know? 
she was there for me when I was at my lowest moments. Literally, I was still on the ground after you dumped me out of my wheelchair. I was there for three days. She was my caretaker and we had an instant connection. She got me back on my feet, literally. And after I took back the family business from my brother, I realized that there was no one else I'd rather have by my side than her. After I murdered my brother to take over the family business, I married her and now we're happy and rich. She loves me from the bottom of her soul. I don't think that's the saying at all. <laughs> and if you think I'd take you back, you're sadly mistaken. But, good luck finding out who that baby's daddy is. I'm sure he's a great guy. <laughs> oh my god! Guys, we want to dedicate this video to all the military personnel who have served this country and provided us with the freedom to even have the opportunity to make these videos. Yeah, thank god. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love. And that's exactly what I'm doing here today. I love all of you so much. I wanted you to see this. Not because it's cringy, not because it's bad, over the top, outrageous, the worst thing in the world, but because I love you all. <laughs> well guys, I appreciate you coming on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, we're going to be watching a whole bunch more of these on stream tonight, if you're watching on the day of release, July 2nd. Twitch.tv slash ChrisTheJames, 8pm Central Standard Time. Come check it out. We'll watch some other shit too, but I want to watch some more of these. I don't know if any of you have seen my community post. Uh, I'm thinking about starting a Patreon at some point. Uh, I just kind of want to read the room and see how many of you guys would actually be interested in that. And if so, let me know what ideas you have for tiers. Um, I don't really know much about what people do on Patreon for like rewards and shit. So at some point, I'd like to start that up and uh, maybe get some ideas. I could even do the YouTube memberships thing too, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to look into it more. But if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a like rating down below. It lets me know you enjoyed it and it helps out the channel a ton. If you have any thoughts, ideas, opinions, or really anything at all, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you're new here and you stuck around this long, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my videos. With that being said, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.